Hey, uh, YouTubers. Um, this is uh, Mr. Evans. Move, get away. No. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things. I've been watching a lot of unsung Hollywood, and uh, the last one I watched was uh, about Fred Williamson, who a lot of you know was one of the premier kings of black exploitation. Him and Jim Brown, him, Jim Brown, Jim Kelly, Richard Roundtree. Uh, they became kind of what we, what the '70s, what my mom called the Black Rat Pack, um, you know. Um, so it talked about, you know, as a little boy, I can always remember Fred Williamson and watching those films like uh, Bucktown or um, Black Caesar or um, that man named Bolt or you know, just a, a couple of them, and you know his his swag, his his level of confidence, you know, he was a writer and director. Um, he, he was never a Hall of Famer, which is interesting to me. But, you know, um, as far as because he played football for a long time. But um, I, I, I appreciate his attitude and how he was a, a go-getter at the times. And he was a, unafraid to live his life. You know, he reminds me a lot of Jack Johnson, unfortunately, the first uh, known black heavyweight of the world um, but the difference between him and Jack Johnson is that unfortunately they snuffed out Jack Johnson you know they basically made him a criminal in many retrospects but Fred Williamson refused to allow them to because he dated uh, dated a lot of white women and actually married three of them so for me um, being able to say hey I can date who I want, when I want, you know, is a big thing because that opens other things. Not to mention he funded a lot of his movies that way in regards to being able to say, I can do what I want when I want. I don't need anybody to give me anything. So I think as actors, as writers, as directors, as, as producers, we have to adapt that attitude. He actually created a very big market in Europe by simply just selling his films over there. And not having to worry about a lot of the things that a lot of people worry about in terms of film distribution and whether it's going to sail overseas and whether you're the right color and all this other nonsense. So um, I just want to leave a short video about him and he, he's the person I was focusing on today. I mean, not so much for his acting, not so much for his writing or directing, but because of the part of the movement he played as far as the 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 forward of of people like who we would know as Spike Lee or uh, Ryan Cougar or uh, the Hudden Brothers or um, Antoine, Antoine Fuqua or people like that in regards to saying hey I can direct I can do different things you know even Bill Duke uh, who and Forrest Whitaker, who are well-known directors, but being able to be an actor and then being going from the actor to behind the camera, you know, uh, Sylvester Stallone eventually did that as well. But I think it, it was it was great in regards to the the information that introduces him to, uh, you know, he was another little tidbit is he was uh, before Julia got canceled, he was expected to be her you know husband so he was technically going to become the first black fa father on prime time because she had a little boy but you know the show got cancelled and you know that's a whole nother whole nother conversation for another time but I did want to say get out there and research for Ed Williamson if you're writing keep writing if you're directing keep directing if you're acting keep acting keep doing what you're doing to make yourself and make your career an enjoyable time um, good night, people.